Apart from the laptop, Ruto himself also has had promises, be it in church, be it in it, what? Even the money is dissing out is suspect, is corrupt. Why should he keep on giving people money and we know his salary? The salary of Ruto compared to what he spends daily is questionable. He should not cheat the Wanainchi or the voters that he is the richest person in the, in the world. Again, he's cheating people that is a hustler. But Ruto himself is having planes, aircrafts, and choppers, and a lot of uh, riches. And he comes down to the wheelbarrow people. He comes down to bottom up people who are very poor. That is among them. Ruto is cheating. That is the best. Uh, is the best uh, politician of recent times. But Ruto himself has even failed to be a deputy president. Why should he come to tell people he's the best when he cannot even obey his principle, Ouro Kenyatta? Ruto is hustling for war. He's a warmonger. And anytime he talks, people just see danger. And that one, we as ODM, we are not going to entertain. He's going to create war amongst other races and communities. Wherever he goes, he says he's the best and is reason. But he goes to those places and he says, you people, you Turkana, you Kikuyus, those are tribal statements. Root again goes ahead to tell us that he's going to change the economy of Kenya. How is he going to change when he cannot change when he's deputy president? For 10 years, and today he promises heaven and earth. That is somebody who is taking you for a ride. Let's forget about the presidency of Ruto. Let's tell him off that Ruto, you promised several things. We can even count up to over 100 and you have done zero. So what you are going around promising people, let us tell Ruto those ones are just cheating. Those are just his way of corruption, his way of way, way leading people in the wrong direction, that is the richest. At the same time, he's a hustler. Finally, I pray, today is a church day, today is the turning point. We are approaching election 2022 in a cool way. We are